Welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle and today I'm going to be talking about the things that I do when I have a pain attack and I'm at home. So pretty much for me a pain attack is what I consider a increase in pain to the point where I don't want to move, I don't want to go anywhere, and I might not even be able to. So today I'm going to be going over the things that I keep in my bedside table that are helpful for me when I have an increase in pain. So first I'm going to go over medication type things, then I'm going to go through um, beauty type things, and then some miscellaneous things that I find helpful. So let's get started. Okay, so medicines. First of all, I keep all of my medicines in one of these containers. Um, and this is just what I take every night. I'm sure most of you do this. I really like this one. I got it from Target because these buttons just pop open the containers. It's just really easy. I like that a lot. Um, another thing that I have is another one of those containers, except in this one, I have all the different kinds of medicines I might need at my bedside table. So I, I put antacids in this one, some of extra of all of my different medications that I normally take. Um, let's see, some Benadryl, nighttime meds, and then Vicodin and pain meds I keep down here. So I've just got a little bit of everything that I might need so I don't have to get up and go and get those medications from the actual bottles. Another thing that I have are my letter derm patches. I love these. I know um, some of you probably really like them, some don't. For me, they really help. And then I also have some scissors to cut them open because they're impossible to get open without them. And then I also have a shot that I have to have every month, and so I have some alcohol prep pads so that those are ready in case um, I forget. Another thing that I keep, other things that I keep that are medicine related in my bedside table are um, when I'm when I'm hurting. Sometimes my pain goes all over my body and not just in my centralized location that it normally is. And so for those times I need my wrist braces. Um, and these ones are just from Target. They're like for woman shape. I don't know if that makes a difference. But they just seem to help um, my wrists not hurt quite as much, especially when I'm sleeping. Another thing that I keep for those times when pain makes me nauseous, if it's really, really bad, is one of these things that you get at the hospital. Gross, I know, but helpful. And the last thing that's medicine related is I have this wintergreen from Young Living. And I just put this on my abdomen, which is where I have my main pain. And it's kind of like icy hot, except more hot than icy. I guess that's the best way to explain it. I mix it with a little bit of lotion. They say you can mix it with carrier oil. Either way, um, it's a nice feeling for those areas that have pain. Um, next, I'm going to talk about beauty supplies. So the beauty supplies that I like to keep on hand um, in my bedside table are not very plentiful, but they're very helpful. First of all, lip balm. And this is one of those EOS ones. If you haven't seen these, it is like a round topped lip balm. They're very nice. Um, they're not my favorite lip balm, but I do like them. They are very moisturizing and there's no tint to it. I do also like the Baby Lips tinted moisturizers. I really like the one in Cherry. Um, sometimes I keep that one on my bedside table because it does give a little bit of tint. Um, the next thing is some of these face wipes. These are by La Fresh. Um, I just keep a travel size one in my bedside table um, and it's, it's just makeup remover wipes. Sometimes if I've been laying in the same position for a while, my face just feels kind of gunky. And if I don't want to get up and wash it, these are helpful. The next thing is, of course, some tissues. I do also have a whole box, but um, those are always needed. Hand cream. This is my favorite hand cream by Aveda Hand Relief. Smells so good, feels so good. Um, let me think, what does this smell like? 
I don't know how to describe it. If you ever walk into an Aveda store, try it. It smells like the Aveda store and it just makes me happy, which is always a good thing when you're in pain. I also keep some hair binders. I really like this one. You've probably seen these about. They're, they're pretty instead of um, just a typical hair binder. And then I also keep some gum. This is some cinnamon gum by Melaleuca and my face lotion. And this, again, by Aveda. I really do like their products. This is their Botanical Kinetics Hydrating Lotion. I have dry skin, but I do have areas that, sorry, I have oily skin, but I do have areas that get dry, and this is helpful. And even for people who have oily skin, sometimes you need a little bit of, um, of moisture. And last things, a nail file. And this one, I don't know where I got this one, but it just, just a typical nail file that's going to buff also. And oil blotting sheets. These ones are by Up and Up, the Target brand, but it's the same as the Clean and Clear ones. Um, they're just blue, and as you use them, um, they get clear. So those are the beauty items that I keep in my bedside table. And last is miscellaneous things. So glasses, of course. Um, I also keep um, my miniature Bible. This is helpful, especially when I'm feeling really down and depressed. Just brings me back to um, my faith and brings me back to the things that I believe in and helps me get out of those low places. I always keep bottled water. Now, I'm not a big fan of bottled water because of always throwing away the bottles. I usually just, we, my husband and I filter water and put it into like camelbacks or something like that, but for bed for the bedside table, so I have something that's always there, I keep a couple bottles of water for swallowing the medication or um, if I don't feel like I can get up and get some. I also keep this little speaker. It's a little tripod speaker. I have music on my phone. And it, this is helpful. I just plug my phone into it and it is nice and loud for some uplifting music. I have a, a watch that has a um, alarm in it and also if I'm if I'm feeling really awful um, after I take a medication I'll put the timer on for like 30 minutes and then if I'm not feeling well after 30 minutes then I can take more medication and last but not least a journal to write down how I'm feeling to write down what I'm thinking about this is one um, that was given me by my cousin who also has chronic pain and it's my my dysfunctions journal um, it says a journal for chronicling my immeasurably fascinating dysfunctions neuroses emotions inner children Moments of shame and doubt, projection, self-loathing, misanthropy, and completely normal insanity. Because the only difference between me and the rest of the population is that I acknowledge how crazy I am, and they're all in mind-numbing denial. I just love that. So um, those are the things that I keep on my bedside table. Um, I'm hoping to do more of these videos showing what I keep in my car for when I'm out and about and get a pain attack, and in my bag, and um, what I keep at work. So um, if you have any other ideas for videos, any questions, any ideas of things that I should be keeping on my bedside table, um, just let me know. I would love to know all of those things. And any other comments or questions, let me know. And you can check out more information at my blog, which is chronically lovely despite pain. Um, dot blog spot. I think I'll put it down in the description box. I'll also put a list of all of these things down in the description box. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.